the channel, we're making monsters with the help of Super 7 Ultimate Edition Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Finster. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another Super 7 Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. In today's video, we're going to make that monster grow with the help of the monster maker extraordinaire, Finster. But for all your Finster needs and a whole lot more from Super 7, make sure you're hitting up the Super 7 store. Use code KYLEP at checkout to support the channel. And of course, you can get Super 7 stuff at the Entertainment Earths of the World, the Big Bad Toy Stores, and a lot of other places. So check out Super 7, check out these. And of course, we're going to do this unboxing. Like we do all the other unboxings on the channel, we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And Finster, a very iconic one for the early issues or early episodes, more like it, of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And Finster was the one that made the monster. So you definitely have to have him. Now we're going to do some comparisons later on in this video like we usually do. And we're going to bring out, of course, the Finster Hasbro Lightning Collection one. One of the best ones from the Lightning Collection. I believe it was an Amazon exclusive a couple of years ago. You can probably get it at other places. Maybe in Ollie's. Who knows at this point. But we want to see the differences between those two, of course. So without further ado, let's get after it. Let's see what this Finster is up to here. A little bit of a smaller box for an ultimate. And Finster was just a little guy. He wasn't here to fight. He wasn't here to cause too much trouble, I guess. But you do got his little graphic there. Of course, Mighty for Power Rangers packaging design looking really good on the slipcase cover. Classic Ranger logo on the back. We're here for that. And then we do know all about the slipcase cover. The slow release from the slipcase there it is. See you later. Goodbye. And then you got Finster looking really good. Big window box there in case you run into Finster. You can autograph it for you if you need to. Power Ranger logo down below. You got a little lightning on each side. Of course, all kinds of accessories with him. On the back, there's old Finster looking old like a Finster could look up there. A little bit grainy in the picture shot, though, I did notice. Then we got a blurb down low. Let's see what it says about our old friend Finster. After being locked away for 10,000 years, oh, that's a long prison sentence, Rita Repulsa's most loyal and valuable henchman is finally free. Finster is Rita Repulsa's closest, closest advisor and chief monster maker. He is a master sculptor fashioning miniature clay sculptures that are put through the personal monster matic, turning them into rampaging monsters. Finster even helped create a love potion to make Lord Zed fall in love with Rita Repulsa. He officiated their wedding, which helped secure his position in the Moon Palace. Oh, the Moon Palace. Beautiful this time of year. A beautiful palace out there. We're going to pull Finster out. There's the old package. See you later. Goodbye. A little plastic prison for Finster. We're losing stuff right out of the package right there. But there's old Finster. All kinds of stuff going on. we got tape and things. I'm going to take it offline. Get Finster out of the package. And we're going to make this monster grow. All right, we got Finster out of the package here. Let's dive in and let's start off with the accessories as we usually do right here. We're going to start off with all these extra hands. Now, we got some interesting hands here. You got three and three, and it looks like he's coming with a double fisted hand out of the package. I guess he's not here just to make monsters, he's here to fight if he needs to. But we got a fisted hands out of the package and of course his right hand is uh, a freestanding hand no glove where his left hand in all these figures or all these hands are gloved hands so we got a little yin and yang difference here so his left hands here you do got a gripping hand you got another gripping hand you got the different hinges side to side or up and down choose your own hinge adventure at the end of the day and then we got a little bit of a splayed out hand here so three hands on that side and then the non-glove side now uh, you got the same kind of thing a splayed out hand a gripping hand and then a gripping hand once again horizontal vertical choose your own hinge adventure got a little bit of that kind of 
I don't know what it is called. It always kind of reminded me of tree buds, kind of like a plant budding on him. He's got the little green against there. Uh, we do see that up on his ears as well. Uh, a hallmark of young Finster, or an old Finster as well. But we do get all your hands, choose your own hand adventure at the end of the day, as we know. Now, of course, he makes those monsters for him. He builds them out of clay, as we know. And we do get three putty patrollers here, little clay putty patrollers. He's been working in the old factory, making these guys uh, right at his workbench, whatever you want to call it we got three putty patrollers looking nice then you do get pudgy pig man i can't imagine a super seven ultimate edition pudgy pig it's gonna be tough to top the lightning collection but we may see one in the future but we do get a little model here a little claymation model he put together and then we do got king sphinx as well which we did see in series one from the power rangers line so uh very good king sphinx so we can make some monsters we can have them hold them again working on them do whatever you want at the end of the day and then we do get down to some more accessories we do get a little kind of scalpel level action here looks like he's carving up the clay molding it just right uh something out of a science class or an art class i guess more like it he's getting the kiln ready he's ready to go it's eighth grade art all over again but we do got a little bit of a tool here and then finally you do get this little necklace goes over him uh it looks like a little magnifying glass so if he's getting really in close getting the details we got that going there uh, so a little magnifying glass action so a good amount of accessories for him right there but then we get down to the figure itself and that's where finster shines now talked about that lightning collection one in the past one of the all-time best hasbro lightning collection figures still holds up really good always love the mo movable jaw on this one i'm going to stick this right here for now but this guy of course being super 7 ultimate edition a little bit bigger a little bit bigger sized as these figures are a different scale than the lightning collection as we do know but this looks just like finster there's no doubt about it i see this i know this is finster got that big kind of long mouth snout i don't know what you call it mouth uh nose combo there got a little of that green coming on the nose both ears and the hair as well he's got his hair all wrapped up got a little bandana going across in the blue color looking nice he does got his glasses those are sculpted in they are not going to be removable for us even has a little earring action going there just a nice head sculpt on him we do not get jaw articulation on this one. That is one thing we had on this one that was really nice. We do not got that there. But you got all the wrinkles, everything else. Really, you could think and see this guy, and you think he'd be like in some fantasy tale, some fantasy movie, and he'd be some helpful guy that lives by himself in the woods or something. That's kind of what he looks like he would be. But he definitely looks really good in the head sculpt department. I really like the amount of detail in here. Love the eyes. Uh, just an all-around good-looking head on him. I have no issues with this head sculpt. Only issue I could have is a movable jaw would have been really nice is what it is now he does got his big old suspenders going on or i guess i guess more of an apron i guess not really suspenders an apron uh we got the shoulder gauntlets up here a little bit of red jeweling action then you got all the tools sculpted into his apron and as cool as it is to have those tools removable right here me being an adult collector, maybe, uh, arguable point, of course, I like them sculpted in because I'm not going to use in all these. One is fine for me. That's all I need loose. This is fine to be sculpted into the apron on here. So I do actually prefer them sculpted in. There's just, uh, you're seconds away from disaster with this one. You lose one, and then you're just going to drive you crazy for the rest of your life. So we do have that going there. I talked about his two fists of fury. I'm definitely taking those fists out. Uh, that is a no-brainer for me. I really do like this one, and I did not realize he had this but soft goods underneath he's got a little soft goods white jumpsuit that looks really good and then you got the sculpted in kind of uh, puffy shirt underneath in black you got the black boots as well looking nice there uh, not going to be removing this uh, shirt or pants or anything like that that's going to stay on him you wouldn't want you would never get it back on the way it came off uh, there's no doubt but that does look really good and gives makes this feel a little bit more deluxe feel a little bit more special one thing I do know as I move these arms around here, it is wearing the paint out on the joint. Thankfully, this shirt does cover the joint, but all the paint is falling off from the elbows. It was black. Now it is all gone. So all of that has fallen off there. Just got a little gold cuff links there as well. Looking good. Articulation on this guy is going to be interesting. We do get the side to side, up and down. Decent head movement, but not tons and tons of head movement, but a good amount of head movement there. Arms do go all the way around very easily. It's your typical articulation you got a bicep cut in the middle single jointed elbows back forth side to side as well hands removable back forth side to side oh he does got an ab crunch in there so we got a little ab crunch action you do got a little waist action you get little finster splits if you do need them single jointed knee back and forth all the usual bells and whistles from the super seven articulation no boot cut on this one 
And then you do get the ankles up and down, a little side to side in the black boots. Does he fit on a ringside collectible Mattel stand? Make sure you go to ringside collectibles, pick that stand up. But what do you know? He fits perfectly right there. So not too bad on this one. I actually do like this one, and I loved this one. But, oh boy, I don't know. It really depends. The biggest differences between these two to me is the mo movable jaw on the Lightning Collection. Of course, Lightning Collection being a smaller figure compared to the Ultimate Edition. And then all the tools being able to be removed, which I'm not a real fan of that. So, honestly, boy, it I don't know. I think I prefer the Super 7 one. I honestly am kind of shocked by that as I really enjoyed this figure when it came out, but I like the upscaled size here. I like the non-removable uh, stuff in the apron, and he has a good feel to him. It's not one of these guys that's like a Goldar that's fighting people all the time, a putty patroller or a ranger. He's a guy that's just kind of going to stand around in the background, and I think he's going to look really good when you get Goldar and Rita and some of the others standing around him. Just a very, very fun figure and a nice figure that really beat my expectations. I thought this might be one of the, not the dog of the wave, but the one I was least excited for for the wave. But he really moved up so far as I dive through unboxing these. Really moved up the chain for me. So a very good Finster figure. Very excited to add this to my collection. Put this on display with Rita and the rest of the henchmen. So there it is. Finster, Super 7, Ultimate Edition. What are your guys' thoughts on Finster, though? Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Do you got this one? Are you confused? Are you not sure what to do? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you on Patreon, including early access to both channels' videos. Uh, we got bonus content, you name it. It's all going on over the old Patreon channel. Patreon, the best way to support this very YouTube channel. You can also support channel ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. They got a big Black Friday Thanksgiving week sale. Check out Pro Wrestling Tees if you're looking for some t shirts. And of course, don't forget social media, Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the mighty Finster. I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.